Let's review machine maintenance and troubleshooting for the level or blind cutting machine. It's important to note that machine maintenance is vital to the operation of the phase blind cutting machine. Without accurate and correct machine maintenance, it will not operate correctly moving forward. So a couple of tricks and tips for you to remember with your associates is that you can use the product cutting manual to walk them through good uh, tips and tricks for maintenance and troubleshooting. Let's start with page 29. This refers to the bagless vacuum system. So on the front of your machine, you will find a door. And when you open this door, this locates the bagless vacuum system. You can see that this is locked into place because this metal arm is shifted to the left. A couple of tips to remember. This bagless vacuum system is connected to the blade and it is taking the dust from the product as it's being cut and collecting it here in this box. A good best practice is to take a Sharpie and mark the halfway point of your spyglass. You can see right through this box. If the dust exceeds that halfway mark, it needs to be emptied. This should be emptied daily, but especially if it's exceeding that halfway mark, it should be emptied more frequently. So to remove this box, you're gonna simply shift this metal arm down to the center and pull out on the handle. That removes the box. Here you will see the opening. You would simply just dump this into your uh, local trash can and get all of the dust from outside of this bagless vacuum system. To place it back in the machine, this top lip connects into these white arms. So slide that bagless vacuum system back into the machine and lock that little bar to the left in place. It's important to note, if this is not locked in place to the left, it will hinder the accuracy of collecting dust from the machine. So this is step one to machine maintenance. The next step is emptying your trash bins. So on the left and right side, you can see that I've raised these black hoods to expose my trash bins. On the left side, you will simply lift out the bin from the machine and empty it into the trash can. This will need to be completed multiple times throughout the shift because it's gonna be collecting quite a bit of scrap. On the right side of the machine, you will find a similar trash bin. This collects all of the scrap from your mini blinds. Again, this will need to be emptied multiple times throughout the day, so please make sure your associates feel comfortable with that process. Once you've emptied the dust and all of the scrap, there are a couple of other tools that can be handy to your associates. This small brush and dustpan can be used to sweep up any excess dust or debris from the um, exterior of the machine. And then your shop vac is also going to be vital for machine maintenance. The exterior of the machine should be vacuumed at least once per day. And then all of the internal compartments that we've just spoken about where it houses your bagless vacuum system and your trash bins should also be vacuumed at least once per day or at the end of every shift. Again, it's important to remember that machine maintenance is vital to the operation of the phase blind cutting machine. Let's review how to maintain this machine moving forward and where the responsibility falls. All of the external tapes and stickers that you find on the level or phase blind cutting machine are the responsibility of the Advantage Sales and Marketing rep team. You would be responsible for replacing these tapes your compact power service uh, team stickers, your caution and machine maintenance stickers. All of that is the responsibility of the ASM rep team. Anything internal that affects the operation of the machine is going to be handled by compact power services or CPS. The sticker that you see here to the right of the screen, it is a for maintenance or service sticker that gives the 1-800 number for compact power services. They would be responsible for blade changes, dust collection issues, anything internal of the machine is their responsibility. So please work with your Lowe's uh, sales associates to understand the difference in responsibility. Another helpful uh, piece for you to understand is that here in your product cutting instructions manual, there are some common problems and issues outlined in the machine troubleshooting tab. 
So starting on page 31, you will see um, common problems and issues that occur with this machine, how to solve that problem, and then if the problem persists, who to call and their contact information. So please make sure that you read through this thoroughly and understand the common issues or problems that occur with this machine and how to quickly solve them for your stores. Again, please remember that machine maintenance from troubleshooting is so important to the phase machine to make sure that it operates properly moving forward.